Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the angle bisector theorem. So we've talked about angle bisectors in geometry. Um, we've done a construction on angle bisectors. I'll, I'll link that in the description below. Um, and we've also talked about the distance from a point to a line being the perpendicular distance. Um, and so I'll link that video in the description below as well. So we're going to kind of use those two pieces of information to understand this theorem. It says if a point lies on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle, okay? So if we take a look at our diagram down here, we see that our angle bisector would be line AD or ray AD, okay? So one thing about an angle bisector is it's going to bisect this angle into two congruent angles. So that's what we see right there. And then we're talking about this theorem, this point right here that is on the angle bisector, and it is going to be equidistant from the two sides of the angle. Okay, so we have um, perpendicular lines drawn from the point on the angle bisector to the uh, lines of the angle. Um, and so it's important to note that those are perpendicular, right? So if they are perpendicular, then those two segments BD and DC are going to be congruent. And so then that's going to tell us that these two angles down here are also congruent. Okay, so let's apply this a little bit to an example. So we're going to find each measure. So we have this diagram here, it's just been rotated. Um, but it tells us that DC is equal to 10. So we can add that in right there. And we notice that we have the right angle boxes here. We have the angle bisector. So we know we can apply our angle bisector theorem. So now we want to find DB. Well, that's just also going to be 10. Okay. All right. And now for question number two. It tells us DB is 6X plus 14. And CD is 4X plus 22. We want to find CD. Okay, so once again, we know these two segments are equal to each other. So we can set these two equations equal to each other and we can solve for X. And once we solve for X, we can plug that into X in really either equation because they are equal. So let's say we want to subtract 4X and we get 2X plus 14 equals 22. Let's take away 14 from both sides. 2X equals 8. Divide by 2 and we get X equals 4. Okay, so now let's take, um, for example, CD. Let's take four right there. So now we have four times four plus 22. So 16 plus 22, and we get CD is equal to 38. All right. Okay, and our last question says BD is equal to four. CD is equal to four. So that's basically just telling us these two sides or those two distances are the same, which means point D lies on our angle bisector. So now it says angle DAC, so this angle right here, is 30 degrees. And we want to find the measure of angle BAC, which is the entire angle there. So since this is the angle bisector, we know that this angle, small angle, is 30 degrees. This other small angle would also be 30 degrees. And the angle addition postulate says we can add 30 degrees plus 30 degrees and we will get an angle of 60 degrees, okay? So that is the angle bisector theorem.